Hey, Mika, we have a decision from Judge Scott McAfee of the Fulton County Superior Court and a 23-page decision this morning. He finds that there is not an actual conflict of interest that was proven by the defendants here, but... He also finds that there's significant appearance of impropriety that infects mm. the entire current structure of the prosecution team. And therefore, he gives Fonnie Willis a choice. She can either choose to remove herself and her entire office from the prosecution of this case, or she can determine that Nathan Wade, the special assistant district attorney who has been helming the leadership of this case, can himself be removed from the case, which would allow her and the remainder of the Fulton County District Attorney's Office to go forward. Mika, that ha that's a victory for wow. Fonnie Willis here. But that having been said, despite the fact that she, that she has been given an easy choice here, notwithstanding mm -hmm. that, there is plenty here for the Trump folks to exploit. And in particular, he finds that there was a failure to be as completely honest with the tribunal as these folks should have been. The quote that is really sticking in my mind right now mm -hmm. is when he talks about the testimony of Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis. He basically says that they did not put concerns that were raised by the defendants to rest. That while the defendants did not prove that there was an actual conflict of interest and meet their burden of proof, and an odor of mendacity remains. That's a direct quote from page 16 Oof. of this opinion. And he says he's not under an obligation, again, I'm quoting to you, to ferret out every instance of potential dishonesty from each witness or defendant ever presented in open court, but reasonable questions about whether the district attorney and her hand-selected lead SADA, that means special assistant district attorney, testified untruthfully about the timing of their relationship, further underpin the finding of an appearance of impropriety and the need to make proportional efforts to cure it. At the end yeah. of his decision, Mika, he's essentially saying, look, disqualification isn't necessary here where there is a less drastic and sufficiently remedial solution available. And that's when he gives Bonnie Willis the choice. You can either remove yourself in your office or you can say, as one of our colleagues said to me informally today, boy, bye, you're, you're gone, Nathan Wade, and we yes. will continue to prosecute this case. I just want to zoom out for a second, Mika, and also make one other point to you and our viewers. Notwithstanding the fact that Fonnie Willis gets to remain on this case, the Trump team and the co-defendants really succeeded here in one other key respect. You know that the modus operandi of the Trump legal world is delay, delay, delay. This motion was made by Ashley Merchant, who is the lawyer for Mike Roman. He was the director of operations for election day for the Trump campaign. She made that motion on January 8th, 2024. We are now on March 15th. It took us more than two months to complete all of the briefing and evidentiary hearings and closing arguments and now the decision on this. Yeah. And in the meantime, nothing else on this case moved forward.